for the Danaeus Miller method or the cross table lateral, flex the hip and the knee of the unaffected side and elevate the thigh into a vertical position. This is done to get the thigh out of the way of the central ray. You may wish to rest the unaffected leg on a suitable support that does not interfere with the central ray. Unless contraindicated, grasp the heel and internally rotate the foot and lower limb of the affected side approximately 15 to 20 degrees. When positioning the IR, place the IR in the vertical position with its uppermost border at the level of the crest. Angle the lower border away from the body until the IR is exactly parallel with the long axis of the femoral neck. Then, direct the central ray perpendicular to the long axis of the femoral neck. Using a 10 by 12 cassette and a grid will get you the best detail for the acetabulum or femoral joint space. Additionally, be sure that the unaffected leg is as far out of the way as possible to reduce scatter radiation. If performed properly, when evaluating the image, the femoral neck will be seen without overlap with the greater trochanter, and soft tissue shadow of the unaffected thigh will not be overlapping the hip joint or proximal femur.